in each component between the times t equals 0 and t equals 2. Now, the average velocity or average uh, rate of change, remember, is of x, or right, average rate of change in the x direction, will be uh, x uh, between times t equals 0 and t equals 2 will be x of 2 minus x of 0 over, uh, over the change in, in uh, t, which is 2 minus 0 over 2. Now, x of 2 will be uh, 2 squared minus 7, so 4 minus 7, or minus 3, minus uh, x of 0, which so will have minus uh, a negative 7 over 2. And this will be equal to negative 3 plus 7 is 4, over 2 is 2. And next, to compute the average rate of change of y, Look at y of 2 minus y of 0 over 2. And this will be, uh, well, y of 2 is going to be 10 minus 0 over 2 is 5. Now, the second part of the problem asks us to eliminate the, par or eliminate the parameter t and to write the, an equation just in term, just in x and y, um, whose solution set is, uh, is the range of the curve. So we know that, um, all right, x is equal to x of t, is equal to t squared minus 7, and y of t is equal to 5t. But the second equation implies that t is equal to y of t over 5. So we can now substitute that into the equation for x. So we have t squared, which is the same as y of t over 5, quantity squared, minus 7, which is the same as y, uh, y squared over 25 minus 7. So if we collect all our terms here, we have x uh, equal to y squared over 25 minus 7. And the set of points x and y which satisfy this equation will be precisely the points that are the range of the parameterized curve. And that's the end of problem number one.